This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Visit sailrite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. This video tutorial will show you how to make a boat wheel cover from Sunbrella fabric. A boat wheel cover protects your boat's wheel from the sun and elements. Most of the vital areas of your boat are probably already covered with canvas covers. Why not protect your steering wheel with a great looking Sunbrella cover? This is a very easy project, so let's get started and show you how it's done. To make your boat wheel cover, first take a measurement of the wheel. Measure the diameter from back edge to back edge, as shown in the so video. All around is 15 and a half, or 15 and 3 eighths. We will be building our cover out of Sunbrella marine grade fabric from Sayerite. Using a soapstone pencil, we will measure and mark the Sunbrella fabric to the measurement we just made on the wheel. Then mark the center location between those measurements. We will use some string to create a makeshift compass and we will draw a circle so it equals the diameter of the wheel that we took on the boat, which included the width of the wheel on the top side and the bottom side, as shown here. A regular pencil could be used to mark the fabric, but if you use the soapstone pencil, as shown here, the marks will easily be removed with just plain water. The Sayerite highly recommends using a hot knife to cut the Sunbrella fabric. Here we are using the Sayerite Edge Hot Knife. It heats up in a few seconds and cools down in about a minute. Next we need to measure and cut the boxing or banding for the side. We typically cut a 4 inch wide strip that is the full circumference of the wheel plus about 6 inches. If making a large boat wheel cover, you may want to sew sections of boxing together to save on fabric usage. Again we will use the Sayerite Edge hot knife to cut out this boxing strip. Notice that we are cutting on top of a metal ruler to protect the table surface. Cutting on glass is even better. The hot knife seals the edge of the fabric to prevent it from unraveling. The boxing strip needs to have about a 1 inch hem created along one long side. A quick way to create a hem like this is to use a screwdriver and run it along the edge of a ruler at the correct location, pressing or scoring the fabric as you go. Do this carefully as too much pressure may actually cut fabric fibers. Next, seam stick for canvas will be applied to the edge of that hem. This is a double sided tape that helps aid in keeping the hem in place while we take it to the sewing machine to sew it. Before basting the hem in place, insert a 3 16 inch shock cord inside the hem and then fold the hem in place. Because the fabric was scored with the screwdriver, it folds at the correct location easily. Cut the shock cord so it extends past the end of the fabric by about 6 inches. It cuts with scissors easily. Take this assembly to the sewing machine and sew the hem in place, staying about a half inch away from the folded edge. This allows the shock cord to move freely in the sleeve or hem. As with most sewing, it's always a good idea to do some reversing at the beginning of a stitch and at the end, as shown here. At the end of the boxing, fold it in to create about a half inch hem. This hem will include the shock cord. Then take it back to the sewing machine and sew this hem in place. Be sure to do some reversing, especially over the shock cord to lock it in place. If you don't have a heavy duty sewing machine like the Sayerite Ultrafeed, sewing over the shock cord may cause problems for you. If so, you can hand sew that area. Cut only the shock cord at this end. Brian is going to use the deluxe magnetic guide to help aid in sewing the boxing to the circular cover. It is easier to sew the boxing so it is up on top of the circle. Start at the end that has the half inch hem and sew about a half inch away from the raw edge of the fabric, keeping the edges lined up as best as possible as you sew. Do this slowly and carefully for the best results. Okay. 
the boxing will be longer and should extend over the starting point. Sew over the starting point about one to two inches and then do some reversing. We will cut away the extra few inches that we included when making the boxing which ensured that we have enough to go all the way around the circle. It can be cut up to the stitch that was just created. Do not cut the shock cord, only the boxing as shown in the video. Next we will sew a top stitch to finish the seam around the circular cover. The seam is called a semi-flat filled seam. The top stitch should catch the half inch fold of fabric on the underside. We will place this top stitch in the boxing, but it can also be placed on the circular cover if you prefer. When you get to the starting stitch position, do some reversing. Coming up next, we will tension the shock cord. About 30 to 50% of the shock cord should be pulled out of the sleeve to tension the cover. Our circumference is about 48 inches, so we will pull out about 15 to 24 inches of shock cord for our cover. Yours may be different. This will make the cover look more like a shower cap, but when fitted over the marine boat's wheel, it should be a perfect fit. Brian is simply trying to distribute the puckering evenly around the sleeve. See now it's more even. I can go ahead and sew it. While holding the shock cord taut, Brian will then lay the end of the boxing that is laying on the inside of the cover on top of the boxing he started sewing down and sew over the sleeve end and the shock cord, reversing a few times to lock everything in place. He sews only to the seam that secured the boxing to the circular cover, then does some reversing there as well. We did not show it, but we have cut the extra shock cord away with scissors. The boat wheel cover is now complete and ready to be placed over our boat's wheel. It simply expands for a quick and secure fit over the wheel. Got a larger wheel? The principles and techniques covered in this video will work for those also. Here's the materials and tools that we use to build this marine boat wheel cover. This is an easy sewing project which takes only a few materials and tools. You can purchase the materials, tools, and if you like, the world's best portable walking foot sewing machine, the Alterfeet at Sailrite. For more free videos like this, be sure to check out the Sailrite website or subscribe to the Sailrite YouTube channel. It's your loyal patronage to Sailrite that makes these free videos available. Thanks for your loyal support. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sailrite, thanks for watching.